United Express Flight 6291 was a regularly scheduled United Express flight from Washington Dulles International Airport near Washington, D.C. to Port Columbus International Airport in Columbus, Ohio. It was a service operated by Atlantic Coast Airlines on behalf of United Express. Late on the night of January 7, 1994, the British Aerospace Jetstream 41 operating as Flight 6291 stalled and crashed on approach to Port Columbus International Airport. The two pilots, the flight attendant, and two passengers died in the crash. The surviving passengers were a Taiwanese family of three. Topic: Accident. Flight 6291 left the gate at Dulles at 21:58 for the 90-minute flight to Columbus. The crew were Captain Derek White, 35, First Officer Anthony Samuels, 29, and Flight Attendant Manuela Walker, 58. There were five passengers on board. At 23:10, Columbus approach control was contacted. The captain advised the controller that the aircraft was descending through 13,200 feet (4,000 meters) to 11,000 feet (3,400 meters). The controller assigned a 285-degree heading to intercept the ILS for runway 28L and cleared flight 6291 to 10,000 feet (3,000 meters). An updated weather report was at 23:15, reporting a cloud overcast 800 feet (240 meters) above the ground, visibility 2.5 miles (4.0 kilometers) in light snow and fog, with wind 300 degrees at 4 knots. A runway 28 LILS approach clearance was given when the flight passed the SUMIE final approach fix. A clearance to land on runway 28 L was given two minutes later. The aircraft was descending through an altitude of 1,250 feet meters when the stick shaker activated and sounded for three seconds. After 1.5 seconds, the stick shaker sounded again. The aircraft continued to descend below the glide slope until it collided with a stand of trees in a high nose-up attitude. It came to rest upright in a commercial building, 1.2 miles kilometers short of the runway. After the impact, a fire started in or near the left engine, which spread to the rest of the aircraft. At least four of the passengers survived the crash, however, only three escaped before the aircraft was fully engulfed in flames. Investigation <inaudible> 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 The National Transportation Safety Board investigated the crash and released its report on October 6, 1994. In the report, the crew and Atlantic Coast were faulted for the crash. The pilots followed a poorly planned and executed approach, improperly responded to a stall warning, and lacked experience in aircraft equipped with an electronic flight instrument system. Atlantic Coast failed to provide adequate stabilized approach criteria, suitable training simulators, and crew resource management training. <laughs> <laughs> 